Hello, Maggie Tuttle again from Children Screaming to Be Heard. Children Screaming to Be Heard says it for literally everything that's happening to children in care. Um, one of the saddest things for me is that I, ha I was asked last year, um, 2013, a lady called me with her mother to say, Maggie, please, would you come with us? We have to say the last goodbye. And I said, last goodbye for what? To what? What are you talking about? Our child is going, for, going to be adopted. And um, tomorrow we have to go, we've been asked to go to the contact centre. And uh, we have half an hour with our baby. And my mother's the grandmother, obviously. And we have to say our goodbye. I said, OK, I'll come along there. I went along, and for me, it was one of the saddest things to witness. Very, very sad. It wasn't my child, but I, I couldn't stop crying myself when that child was just whisked away. Mr Cameron lost a baby. A child died. And I wrote to Mr Cameron and I said how sad it was. At the same time, I told him, in death, to lose a child in death, OK, you, you have the mourning time and, you know, you, you mourn and time is the healer. That is the word, time is the healer. And I said, but for the parents who are losing their children to the adoptions agencies, there's no... There's no mourning time for them. It's those children are alive somewhere and the parents don't know where they are. Anyway, Mr Cameron never answered. He never does because he doesn't give a damn for the children in care. He doesn't give a damn for the children being adopted because all of our children, money, 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 I think it's approximately £36,000 for the agency every time a child is adopted. Adopted. So no wonder the government are giving more millions of pounds to Bath to open up more adoption centres because they're going to get it all back. And do you know where they're going to get it back from? You, the taxpayers. All you, the taxpayers, are paying the governments, the agencies. They're all sitting in their offices, all getting fat with the money they're getting paid. £36,000 per child to be adopted. Oh. So going back to the taxpayers who are keeping all our politicians and social services and social workers and what have you... Um, an adoption agency, adoption foster agency, came to the market two years ago. I think it came to the market for 65,000, no, 65, 65 million pounds. 65 million pounds. If anybody wants the true figures, then I've got them, so you can always call the uh, charity and uh, I'll get them, although it's all over, Ian Joseph's forced, uh, forced adoption site as well. It went to the market for £65 million and within two weeks, bidding went to £135 million. Now, the company that bought this for £135 million is from Canada. So why is a company in Canada buying an adoption and fostering agency here in the dear old UK. Is there a link? Well, let me tell you something. Not many people know, but there was a link with Mr Bernardo, who um, sent thousands of our children to Canada, Australia, and uh, other places. And Mr Bernardo's also opened up many care homes for the children in Canada. A lot of research going on down there. Poor, big time. So let's come back to social workers. 
who are stealing their children for the adoptions, who are the ones who say the last goodbye. And that is so sad. You can sit in a room, and I've now been with many families on the last goodbye, and you can sit there, and the social workers, nothing on their faces, nothing whatsoever. The coldness is there, and there's a little baby, and the baby is crying. And the little children, you sometimes, children between babies and up to the age of five, crying. They want their parents, they want their family. Even if they can't have mummy and daddy, let them go and live with nan or granddad or an extended family. No, they're just taken, stolen and sold. Where do they go, a lot of them, here in the world? Are they trafficked and sold? Is that, is that what they... Say they're adopting the children, give them a good home and yet they're selling them. Social workers, many social workers in this country, in the UK, many of these social workers have come from, and not many people know this, India, Africa and Romania. And most of those social workers, anyone in a third world country can buy a diploma or a CV for a few pounds. So in they come into this country, the social workers, qualified social workers, are they what? They're nothing. When social workers come to this country, reallocation, they receive many thousands of pounds, reallocation money. Also they get help with banking, opening a bank account, and they also get help with housing. So here comes the social workers, illegally working in dear old Blighty, as they say. And here in dear old Blighty, this world out there, we have been now informed that the world now says, via the BBC television, that 20% of paedophiles in the UK, 20% are paedophiles here in the UK. And then the UK is now known as the paedophile centre. How about that? But then you've only got to look back in time to know that um, England has been abusing children you, you, uh, for centuries, many centuries. Adoptions have been going on from DOT. Uh, then you have the Liebensborn programme. And it was Mr Hitler who coined the phrase in a child's best interest. And Mr Himmler, he set up something called the SS to oversee everything, which is now known as social services. Amazing. Social services, the SS. Uh, and, and, and in actual fact, I can't say everything here, but if things were linked together, then the people out there would know. You are working your bollocks off to pay your taxes to put it in the hands of the governments who are taking our children, selling them, adopting them, fostering. I mean, foster, fostering. If you're a specialist foster carer, you can get £750 a week, tax-free, of the taxpayers' money, don't forget. And... Um, if you don't have a child, you can, as a specialist foster carer, you can still be in receipt of £350 a week till you get a child tax-free. Foster carers, they get free holidays every year, and that child they're fostering, whilst they're on holiday, paid for by the taxpayers. They go to Barbados, they go anywhere in the world they want to go on their holiday, at the taxpayers' expense. And those children... They're fostering that child. Those children are moved to different respite foster carers. There is no stability for children in care. Coming back to the adoption, children in care, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Taxpayers, we need a Jarrow March. That's what we need, a big Jarrow March. Because until you people on your thousands come out, and march for the children. They're going to be fucked, buggered, murdered, trafficked, 
abused in every single way. And there are thousands of children in dear old Blighty whose bodies are sold to scientists. Their bodies are sold for uh, experiments. Again, the, the children are used in the care system, are used for drugs, drug experiments. So you see, there's so much going on. And at the end of the day, I'm going now and I'm asking everyone in this dear old blightish, get off your asses and help the children. March for them. Bye-bye.